A little bit harder case is where the numerator is not a constant but a linear term, um, like so. So what we do here is that it's easy to see that we can write this rational function as a constant times the numerator, which is the derivative of the denominator. So now we can make the immediate substitution u equals x squared plus 2x plus 5, since du now equals 2x plus 2dx. So that we are left with the integral 1 over 2 times 1 over u, which of course has as a primitive a half times ln absolute value u plus c. And this one equals a half times the ln of x squared plus 2x plus 5. Or we may leave, leave out the absolute value sign since x squared plus 2x plus 5 is irreducible and always larger than 0. Okay, so you can also all get for irreducible quadratic terms, you can uh, meet the ln form. So here's a little bit different. So x divided by x squared plus 2x plus 5, the next example. Then we try to bring it back into the former example, x plus 1 divided by x squared plus 2x plus 5, minus a constant divided by x squared plus 2x plus 5. Yeah, these are both cases that we've seen the solution of. So the first part can be integrated as a half times ln x squared plus 2x plus 5. And the second case, we already noticed that this equals a half times arctangent, a half times x plus 1 plus c. And this can always be done. So if we have a linear term uh, uh, divided by a uh, irreducible quadratic term, then you mostly, most of the times, you get a, a natural logarithm combined with an arctangent.